Welcome back, everybody. I promised that I would show you an R notebook, which is an awesome, awesome thing. It's better than an RMD file. It's an actual notebook file, which will actually carry over the code that can be downloaded by your colleagues or by anyone else that's collaborating on your project. Let's start with a fresh project. We're gonna do file, new project, and we're going to do a new directory, new project, and we're gonna put that into a first notebook project. So as that creates the project, we're gonna see on the right hand side, we have a project file, that's our R project. We have our console, but we do not have the notebook file yet. To do that, let's go up to file, new file, and head over to our notebook. Now our notebook is going to look very familiar like an RMD file, but there's so much more capability to an R notebook. And over the period of these tutorials, you'll learn a lot of those features. As you can see, we have the metadata at the top, one through four. We have a title and an output again, and it looks very similar to an R markdown file. And then we have the brackets. Remember the brackets will create a link. If you put the brackets, that's the same as putting it in a href, if you know HTML at all. And then here's the site it'll link to. Scroll down to lines 10 through 12, we have those back ticks. We have the programming language called R inside of the curly braces. R Studio can run Python code as well when you enable those features. And I think a few other languages. So that's why you have to designate R inside of the curly braces. Other parameters can go in there as well and I'll show you some of those in a minute. Okay, so we're not gonna do anything with code this time, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this file. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do Command S and we're gonna save it as first notebook and hit enter and what you're going to see on the right hand side as soon as I saved it there's a first notebook dot nb notebook dot html file let's click on that and do open uh, view in web browser so as you see here we have an R markdown it's an actual html file but what you see that's different about the R markdown file is on the very top right hand side you have this code drop down menu code show all code code, hide all code, and you can actually dynamically do this. But at the very bottom of that, you see download RMD file. So you can send these RMD files with documentation, the code, the output, everything to a colleague or a coworker. And you can hide individual code blocks as well by doing this. Okay, let's go back to the RMD file. We should have a plot here, it didn't run. Now, it didn't run because we never ran it. We saved it without running it. So let's click that little play button right here and we see the plot now. Now let's save it, Command S, and go back to our notebook, View in Web Browser. We have the plot there. See how that works? So you have to run the chunks and those are called code chunks with those back ticks. So if I hide all code, it hides that. Um, the plot is an output, it's not actual code. And I'll show you how you can actually hide that if you choose to. What you can do is in this code chunk from 10 to 12 is a code chunk, it's unnamed. Let's give it a name. Let's go over here to the settings right here. And the name of that chunk is going to be plot cars. And see where it says output and it says use document default because it's global options and then there's local options. Show output only, show code and output, show nothing, run code, show nothing, don't run code. Those can all come in handy when you're trying to demonstrate things that don't need to be run, but you want to show the code and have the code highlighted in syntax. Um, so right now we'll do, um, every, we'll sh let me show you show output only. I'm going to hit apply and you'll see that in the curly braces, I have more parameters in there. Echo equals false. That means we're not going to echo the output to the HTML file. And the first part of this where it says plot cars is the name of my chunk. It's helpful to name your chunks for later on. So let's run that again, just in case. Let's hit the Command S button, and we'll go back to the notebook file, View in Browser. And it does show the plot. And if I do hide all code, well, it doesn't show the code, I'm sorry. Let me, let me back up just a tad. So the output did show, but the, the actual code did not. Let's see if we can fix that. Show output, oh, it says show output only. Let's do show nothing, run code, apply. That's where I got confused. Anyways, we're gonna run it again. It's gonna show it in, oh, it doesn't show it at all. Okay, so it runs the code, so maybe you don't wanna show the output. Maybe there's a bunch of warnings or things that are just 
not part of a documentation that you want. Now the code will not be there. All I'm trying to show you is that there's many different chunk options. So here we go, we have no code shown. And obviously in this demonstration, we wanna show all the code. We're gonna use the default, hit apply, and that's in our notebook for you. What's awesome about it though, like I said, is you can download these from the web, send this to your friend. Now they do need the data sets, so you have to send them the data set. In this case, our data set is called cars, but cars comes standard with the R Studio and R um, language itself, so they will have cars. But if you had like a CSV file full of business documents or business data, you'll have to send that document as well. And if it's all within a project, it should all link up just fine. So anyways, we can click on code and we can go to download RMD file. And as you can see on the bottom left of my screen, it downloaded it. Let's do show in finder. And there it is, I've got a lot of things in there. I'm, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna close my R Studio completely. As you can see, I'm recording with OBS by the way. And now I'm just gonna double click on first notebook RMD. This is the one I downloaded from, we'll call it the internet, but it was actually locally. And it looks exactly like I had it. I can run all chunks, click on run up here, and I can run all. Because you might have multiple chunks in a row, or you might have 25 chunks in this document, and instead of clicking each one individually with this little play button, scroll down, hit play, scroll down, hit play, you can run the entire thing and it should run. So it runs all the chunks. If you save it, it will allow you to view it in HTML, but this is, since it's not a project file, it's not gonna show up on my right hand side. I have to go search for it. But that's the idea of chunks. I hope that from this point on, we are mainly going to be working in notebooks. So hope you enjoyed that and I will see you in the next lesson. I hope this video was useful. And if it was, leave a comment below, let me know how, and also subscribe. That'll help me grow my channel and continue creating videos like this.